Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to automatically fill in a document using information from a form's input, of course in Microsoft Word. So the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is get a copy of Microsoft Word and that's really all we need for this project. We don't need any other applications or anything just a copy of Microsoft Word and you of course you can get that here at my office.com okay now if you're here watching this you probably already have a copy of Microsoft Word so I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up and the first thing we're gonna do here is set up our document so I'm just gonna come up here right where it says blank document and I'm going to click on that now if you look up here at the tabs, you'll see that we have a tab called Developer. That's the tab you want. If you don't have it, then we need to get this in your ribbon. If you do have it, then you're good. You don't need to do any of this. Oh, well, but you might want to follow along because there's more than just that. So the first thing we want to do is go to Options. And then as you can see, there's a Customize Ribbon. And of course, we need to check the one that says Developer. So this needs to be checked. Okay, then what we need to do is we need to go to Advanced. And then if you come down here, like it looks like it's about almost halfway down, we want to have Show Bookmarks. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think that there's anything else that we need. If there is, we'll just have to come back. So we just click OK. And there basically our document is set up for our development. Okay. Now, step two, we need to set up our document. Okay. And we set up our document by creating uh, bookmarks. Okay. So now, of course, we need to uh, first set up, set up our document. And if I go to home, uh, the first thing I'm going to need to do is layout and margins. And so for APA style, uh, which is what we're doing. So what we're doing is uh, the document we're creating is we're creating an APA style document for students. Okay. And the student is going to type in all their information. And then in that, from that form, it's going to input it into the rest of this document. And the first step of an APA format document is one inch margins. So we have that set. The other thing we can do is we can actually come up here to this first page and double click and insert our page number into our top of page and it's this third one down okay and this next thing I'm going to do is just want to make sure that our font is good uh, Georgia 12 yep okay that's good I'm going to just double click out of the header okay if you double click in I can also just click close header that works as well okay and we don't need a um, bookmark for that but we do need a bookmark for our next item so what I'm going to do is just quickly go back here and the setup okay and so the we did a font now we need to do line spacing so let's go back and do our line spacing which is right here we're going to take that and put it at two paragraph alignment and justification that's good. Got the page number. Now we're going to go to title page. So we already got the page number. And the first thing we need to do is the paper title. Okay. And that's in bold. So what we're going to do, and as you can see, what we need is paper title, author names, author names, affiliation, course, number, and name, instructor name, and due date. Our due date's the last one, and as you can see, they kind of show you how all this is formatted, and this is the format of the due date. So that's the due date of the assignment that the student is doing. Okay, so let's just come back to our Word document now that we know all that information, and I'm just going to hit the Enter key a couple times, and then we're going to come up to here where it says Center, and we're going to center it, and then we're going to insert a bookmark. which is right with links and we just click insert bookmark and this is where we're going to name our bookmark 
So this is the title of the paper. So I'm just going to put paper title. Now, whatever your naming conventions are, just make sure that you do them consistently. Okay. And that needs to be in bold. So I'm going to set that up right away. Then I'm going to hit my enter key twice. Okay. I'm going to take off bold and I'm going to insert my new bookmark and this is the author name so author name so it's whoever's writing the probably the student name this would be we'll just call it author name though uh, so that looks good and then I'm gonna hit the enter key again and this would be affiliation so I'm gonna do my bookmark bookmark and by affiliation they mean um, like if you're going to a school, the name of the college. Um, and of course, this can also be like the, the department that you're writing it for. Okay. So maybe you uh, work in the general education department or the business department or whatever. And then you would put the name of the school. You can also just put the name of the school. Or if you're writing it for an organization, you would put the name of the organization, of course. So course, number, and name. And now we're going to put in our next mark, bookmark. And this is our course. Name, number. Oh, I should just go course, number, name. And we'll add that. Uh, then our next one is our instructor's name. So bookmark. Uh, instructor name instructor name and then finally our last bookmark which is our due date so due date whoops and add okay so now the next thing we want to do is we want to create a second page so we're gonna hit enter and then control enter okay and then we do need to put this one here and you can't copy bookmarks. This is like one of the oldest dreams people have. If they create one bookmark and they copy it and then paste it anywhere else, whatever they put data in that, that's what they want to go there. And that seems like a beautiful idea to me, but that's not how it works. So I'm with you. I'm with you. I wish it did work that way, but it does not. So I'm going to go paper title two so our second page okay so those are my bookmarks okay now what I probably want to do though is still come down here then um, come back to home and then go left okay and then the first line indent should come in like that okay so now I'm going to save this document, um, and you can just name this whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to name, put this on the desktop, and we'll just call this Automated APA Form. And we'll click Save. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to go into where it says Developer. And then we need to click on Visual Basic. Okay. And so this is our document here, this document right here. Okay. And as you can see, this is our project automated APA form. And so the first thing we want to do is right click on this and click insert and click user form. Okay. So this is where we're going to build our user form. Okay. So that's the first part of this video, just to show you how to get to here uh, in the creation of our document.